How's it going, bros? My name is Ferris Amin, and today we're gonna review play The Stanley Parable. First things first, I wanna thank Davy Redden, Redden, Davy Redden, I'm sorry. Uh, he's the one who actually developed Stanley Parable, and he's the one who I talked through email. So, thank you very much, Davy. Mr. Davy. <laughs> um, okay, so. For the game itself, I've made a pretty stupid decision, which will make me like, overload it for a couple of days. Uh, I have decided to play the game before I review it and record the play, the gameplay. And that was stupid. Yes, this actually didn't give me time to make the review, <laughs> except too late, which made the other reviews come too late. So, with that said and done, let's start. What is the game? Basically, the Stanley Parable was a beta, and uh, actually it was a mod when it was a beta in Half-Life 2. And basically, the idea is Stanley is a man with a boring job, but he enjoyed it. It has multiple endings. Something strange happens, and Stanley's life changed forever. Okay. Whatever the ending, because I don't know really if there are 12 endings or 18 endings, I'm totally confused. Because I saw on YouTube people saying 12, I saw on trailer saying 18, confused. So, let's take a look at the options, the audio, I mean like, what do you expect, it's normal. Headphones, two speakers, four speakers, 5.1, sound quality high, low, medium the captions or the, the subtitles okay so for the video you have the white screen ratio you can change it you can change it you can change the resolution you have the window full screen borderless window you've got the laptop power saving you've got the overlay position i have no idea what is what what is the overlay field of vision that's always nice to adjust and the advanced, you actually have the anti-aliasing, filtering, v-sync, multi-core, shader detail, I know I have gr low graphics but just for the lag, effect detail, model and texture. So, this card, uh, the keyboard and mouse, you can actually rebind everything. And the row mouse input, mouse acceleration can use a lot of stuff. The extras, the achievements, and the savings. Of course I enable them. So, with the, op the options are pretty great actually from this indie game. So, let's begin the game. The end. The end is never the end. It's actually, he's right. The end is never the end. Yes, you might think that it's lagging, but the loading screen just freezes at this part and then boosts to the end. So, there is something strange about this game, actually. I rarely see games with that much ending. I've never seen a game like this. I mean, imagine. 18 endings. Even if they are 12. A lot of endings. I mean, the highest number of endings I've seen in my life was three endings, which didn't matter. In Mass Effect 3. <laughs> I didn't play it, but I've heard of this whole thing. So, basically, you will see right now the, the whole Stanley thing. This is the cutscene named the Stanley. Stanley. Just watch this cutscene. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, Just like how us. long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winning, Stanley relished every moment of the orders he made, as though he had been made exactly job and Stanley was happy okay and then one day something very peculiar happened something that would forever change what? Stanley. something he would never quite forget he had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him weird 
No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Now this is the graphics Something of the game. Was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Okay. So basically, as you have seen, this cutscene, the graphics are great, actually. I mean, look at if you looked at the beta, <laughs> the graphics are, have improved enormously. This is at the beginning. That's what I wanted, so. Uh, the second thing that is very... It's a very main part of the game is the, um, the choice part. You see, you will have a lot of choices, and each choice leads to a different dialogue and different ending in the different dialogue, which leads to different endings with the endings according to the endings. And this is so complicated that my mind will break. And the narrator says a lot of complicated stuff. Okay, so y you can see this. this is smooth, so we will go... Right here, and we All find no one. So this is Stanley decided to go to the okay. Perhaps he had simply this is the narrator. The narrator always, always, like always, talks during this game. Okay, whether he's evil, good, they vary according to the actions you do during the game. Okay, so basically, let's take a revise in, uh, to the graphics. They are actually pretty great. No how hard okay. Worked, Find a trace of his there is the uh, the game is honestly hilarious, okay. So it have it has a lot of humor, okay. Yes, it can get sort of frustrating at, at some points, okay. And uh, you can get lost a lot actually. Spilled coffee, <laughs> my enemy. Uh, anyway, uh, so there are a lot of hidden doors. I mean. Like the last ending that I've achieved, I really didn't know that th it exists. When Stanley came to a set of okay, two open doors, he, entered he entered the door on his door left. left. So I could, r I can enter the the, r the left one or the right one. Okay, so basically, let's say that I will enter the right one. This was not okay. the right way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first. Just to so he gave me the ability I he didn't consider disobeying. Uh, yes, yes this is room great the room. And then, really the but eager but to get back, to, get back to, business, to business, he took, took the, the first, first open door on his left. left. Okay, so let's take the first open door. And so he detoured through the maintenance section. Okay, walk straight ahead to, to, the, opposite to the opposite door. No, let's say I will really dis disobey him and go through the elevator. So this is an act of disobedience, which will lead into a different ending. Okay, so basically this whole choice consequences thing, <laughs> oh man, it's great. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. Yes, okay. He to wander about and get even further on track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go... So, uh, something like this is confused. <laughs> From here, it's um, left. Left. Okay, where it is? Is it? Yep. Oh no, no, it's to the right, man. Let's go to the right. You see, this is humor here. No, 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 not the, the right. narrator is confused. Ever said it was to the right? And what he will repeat everything. You see? It's clearly. Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? <laughs> I mean, he's revising his papers, and he actually sometimes see, break the fourth right. wall. Okay, so yeah, it talks to you as a player, which is great. So basically, this game is very simple, okay? It has very simple ideas, but it can be challenging just to find all of the hidden endings and realize everything. You see, right here, this is supposed to be a spoiler. You're not supposed to see... Oh, close your eyes. This is all a spoiler. Okay, so this okay. makes a fun thing, okay? Yes, just just hilarious, pure, simple it gameplay with a lot of endings and choices. Hum look, the humor of the narrator exceeds the limits, okay? We'll so, if yes, sometimes it will frustrate you. 
<laughs> Watch my gameplay mm -hmm. and you will know what I mean. So, I mean, he restarts. This, when I discovered this ending, I actually, this was the restart for the six, six, I think the eighth ending. So, this was a lot. I mean, like, you can get really tired trying just to figure out the endings, which really gives the replay ability. And when you restart the game a lot, every single time according to the ending before it and the times of the restart, the dialogue changes. A slightly changes, which gives it more replay value. So this is recommended for any guys who love collectibles and things like that. Uh, there's also the whole achievements team thing. It's ridiculous. I mean, honestly, just try to jump and you will get an achievement. You can jump. Seriously. So, even the achievements are humorous. So, let's sum this up. I know <laughs> this has been short, but let's sum this up. The positives, and then we'll see the negatives. For the, g the graphics, they're actually great. They're improved. They are up to the age. I mean, remember, it's an indie one. Um, also, for the humor, great. G great gameplay. A lot of replayability value. Um, also, there is this whole building the personality you build the personality of the narrator according to each ending it changes and also the uh, you i mean like i thought he was evil in a couple of endings and he wa actually was and then he b he was very good and he was very lost and then he was very confused and then he was very poor so his personalities change a lot in this game okay also you have this whole Restarting the game, I mean, sometimes you will restart it by your will, other times you will restart it by force, which means that actually, you see, wait, wait, what? what? No, I, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game. I so basically, this is one <laughs> ending. So this is according to the previous ending. There is something bad happened. Room with all the monitors. Did you move okay, the so. Uh, for the negatives, well, I seriously, like, <laughs> I tried to squeeze the game to find some negatives. Well, its humor covers it. I mean, you will you will go to a part, you will go to a part where you you find that Stanley will, was uh, entered an area with no textures and exposed developer textures. Like, seriously, just the blocks and the numbers as if he was still developing it. And this was purposely meant, it was meant on purpose, just to show off the whole comedy humor thing. And it actually worked quite well with me. So basically, I really didn't find negatives except I'll only this one. The worst adventure I've ever been okay. This, uh, this only here. negative Do is that sadly the game is pretty short even if you finish the 12 endings i mean like i have finished i think uh, the uh, the remaining only one ending i think in how my in how many how much oh um in 2 hours i mean like seriously 2 hours but you come to yourself again and say hey it's an indie game so Let's, uh, I mean, like, honestly, we can compare some games. There is, there are endless games, indie games. For example, Terraria and these games, they're endless. Okay, so these are out of comparison. We can't also compare, for example, Deadpool, which is relatively short, uh, four hours, to, this, to the Stanley Parable. Because this is indie, and this is main event, sorry. Excuse me. Um, this is indie and this is main event. So, the game actually can be compared to one thing, to say that it's long, is it's an indie game. So, I've never seen an indie game that long, okay? I mean, like, two hours, and why am I spinning in directions? Um, also, you can find the game to be fun and challenging, just so that you can search for all of these endings. It's a great challenge. All, uh, I don't know how much time you okay, will spend in this, uh, but you will finish it. Uh, you you will finish it with frustration. Honestly, it's frustration. It's frustrating, and honestly, this game 
uh, will get a high rating. The price of the game is actually fifteen dollars. Well, you if you ask me, you'll say what fifteen dollars for this? Oh man, this is pretty short game. It has n yes, it has a variety of endings, but and the good graphic. But I mean, just for the humor, I will get Aha. it. I no, never. But let's. I will not spoil the story any more than this. So, but why? Uh, you see this monitor. <laughs> <laughs> a monitor in a monitor, I'm in a monitor in a monitor, and I, I don't know if you'll see the mouse or not, but I'm just moving it and spinning it and spinning in three different monitors. Oh, sorry, four. Uh, anyway, the the game ha it deserves the fifteen dollars if you you are the one who buys it for its content, not for its length. That's that's the price. For the price, I give it an eight out of ten, with the title of fantastic price okay for the game itself i rated a 9 out of 10 it was almost perfect just uh, if you have il elongated it a bit also i f forgot to say there is no multiplayer I in any case okay uh, this is very sad because i am i am th from the people who think that a game really drops the score when there is no multiplayer so even there is no leaderboard. <laughs> I know you are you you're saying no. Oh, why is he laughing? But you will f figure it out when you play it the game. Um, also, the game ca doesn't have a, in a, an online multiplayer and doesn't have the co-op. You know there are no two Stanleys or it could have been someone is Stanley and the other is in the, nar the narrator or something like that. This would have been great. So. Yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to say, uh, to say at this part. I mean, like, honestly, yes, yes. I, I can say to the developer, hey, just give me more endings. I mean, it's addicting. I just want more. Feed me more. Honestly, this game will make you always come back to it even if you have s uh, knew the endings you will just come back a few hours uh, now and then just to remember it just to check the whole if you missed an ending because honestly I think I missed one and uh, also you will have to repeat a lot I mean like I have repeated the an ending three times just to figure out another one okay so uh, there is this bond that builds between the narrator and Stanley, whether it's a good one or a bad one. There is this graphics art style. It has a lot of humor, whether in its graphics, whether in its narrator, whether in Stanley's actions itself. It has a lot. Uh, fourth wall breaking. However, it's a relatively short game, but remember, it's an indie one, so this really passes. Also, the, um, it, <laughs> it has music in it. You, that you, I will not spoil it, but just you will meet some good music that will make you laugh till you cry. So this game is actually almost perfect. Just if you give us more endings, I would have given it the ten out of ten. Congratulations, the Stanley Parable! You have passed successfully with an A, not an A plus, because it's nine out of ten. Okay. So, uh, anyway, that was pretty much the review. I know it's not that long. It's a moderate review. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching it. See you next time. Have a nice day.